don't brave adventurers. Quaggan must speak with you. Tricky. Ooh. Well, Quaggan is glad you are here to nurture them. Keep Quaggan informed. Thank you, Shashu. Quaggan is Varanos Naraju, leader of this pod. And you are? We're the ones who came to help. Tell us about the problem in your own words, Varanos. Which I bet will include lots of ooh sounds. Quaggans need food, or this clutch of eggs won't survive. But anyone who goes to forage in the gathering grounds never comes back. Foo! We'll investigate for you, starting with the path your gatherers took. That's where we'll pick up their trail. Cool! Quaggan agrees. If you meet Shashu on the shore, she'll show you to the mountains where the gatherers disappeared. grounds are just up the mountain. Quaggan apologizes in advance for being so slow on land, but it won't take too long. We'll get you there. But tell me, why do your gatherers roam so far from the lake? Bad ice. Quaggan's fled south to escape it, but the bad ice followed. Now, it's making the lake too cold and too sick to support fish or Quaggan's. Bad ice, eh? I'd call it ice dragon corruption. Any chance you could move again? Find some place truly safe? Not until Quaggan's eggs hatch. They can't be moved and must be tended carefully, or this generation of Quaggan's will be Quaggan's last. Can't go, can't stay. That's a tough position to be in. We'll deal with your bad ice problem shortly, but for now, let's find these missing gatherers. Ooh, look there, look! Did you see? It moves fast. Follow! Ooh, he's a slippery cuss, isn't he? Don't worry, we'll get him. Bad ice! It blocks away. Quaggan must be brave. Oh, that's a fierce wind. Better stay close to the walls until it dies down.
goes again! How does he move so fast? This is serious, Shashu. That corrupted Quaggan will make more bad ice and bring more of Jormag's minions down on your village. You have to evacuate. Boo! Quaggans can't leave until the eggs hatch. We need to talk to Passkeeper Oldu. He knows many powerful defensive spells. That's a start. A strong defense is always good, but a strong offense might be better. Can your people fight? In battle? Quaggans lose control. Quaggans don't like to fight. Except Barouche. He prefers it. It embarrasses the village. So he lives alone. If he came back, he might make a difference. What do you think, partner? Should we bolster the village's defenses? Or recruit their best and only fighter to stand with us? Nice shell. There is Barouche. Foo, look at him. Everyone can see his rage. How does he stand it? people came to talk. Falu Alu is in trouble. Ooh, Barouche, please. It hurts Quaggan to see you like this. Pleased to meet you, Barouche. If you don't mind my saying, I have never seen a Quaggan with your, uh, attitude. It's, uh, refreshing. 
The others don't like Quaggan's lack of shame, but this form is part of who Quaggan's are. So Quaggan protects Falu Alu from bad ice giants and their wolves from up here. Bad ice giants. Like that corrupted Norn we fought, yes. Listen, those giants and wolves are making bad ice Quaggans. And they're coming for Falu Alu. Quaggan would have to see that for Quaggan's self. Quaggan will trail the wolves to their den. If what you say is true, Quaggan will help. The cave is further to the north.
Quaggan to die. Talk to Quaggan? Mm. Be brave. Quaggan will get you out of here and back to Falualu. Thank you for that lie. Quaggan is hurting, dying. Help Quaggan. Make the end come quick. Don't talk like that. Quaggan will... Oh. Yes, too late. Quaggans cannot stop the corruption. those corrupted quaggins. One of Jormag's more powerful lieutenants must be involved. This is even bigger than we thought, Barouche. And quaggins' eggs are almost ready. Please, you need to protect Falu Alu. Teach quaggins to fight like you, so quaggins can get the newly hatched pups to safety. Quaggin sees. The bad ice is worse than ever. Spreading quicker. Doing more damage. Yes, quaggin will fight and teach you to fight. For Faluwalu. Quaggan could kiss you, Barouche. Thank you. It won't be long before the eggs hatch. With your... bravery and skill, Faluwalu has a chance. Excellent. Let's all meet back at the village. When they come, the Dragon Brood won't be expecting resistance. They'll be surprised to find us. No matter what. Oh, I wish. I mean, my old warband. Oh, never mind. We're on, Agent. The eggs are about to hatch, and attendants are standing by to guide the baby quaggins to safety. We'll keep the ice brood at bay while they escape. Loranos Naraju left us her best fighters to help hold the line. She's also making a hole in the ice for the evacuees to swim through. Come on, let's check on her progress.
broken through. The way is clear. Go! Oh, thank you, friendly people. Kaluanu, listen to your warrior. Forget shame. Focus on the enemy. They are strong, so Quaggans must be stronger. Embrace your rage! Everyone else is clear. We'll take it from here. Go, rejoin your people. Oh, Quaggan will stay here with you until the end. This is the end. Go on, we'll cover you. Oh, all right. Quaggans will always be indebted to you. Rotting? Rotter? I don't know the right words, but I'm ready to maraud. Let's go! They did good. Cool, as the Quaggans say. They're probably halfway to Holbrook by now. On their way to a new permanent home. That's assuming they can find a safe place to settle. After what we've seen, I'm not sure such a place exists. And if it does exist, whether it will last. Foo on that kind of talk. Alu-Alu was lost before we even arrived. Come on. There's nothing here but cold, dead water. Let's find a livelier place to wait for our next assignment. <laughs>